My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can parse specific XML data with UiPath. It was a question in the UiPath forum from Salad Dressing Dude, and he wanted to look at his uh, XML document, and that was from an API call. So, but let's look at the document, and I'll explain what he wants. So, uh, this is uh, the XML file in question. You can see here that we've got response. Then you want to dig deeper down the tree. You want to go to the and result. Then you want to go to the doc. And then you want to go down and look at the all the ARR elements. That's one here, one here, one here, and here. And he want to ask if the, the attribute uh, name is named pad assigner name, like here. Then he want to print out the str here, the sigurara, matures the value of that str. So, uh, and we can see here it's not named pad assigner name, and he is not either, and he is not either, so it's actually only up here. Let us help him solve this mission. By the way, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. But let's go to UiPath. First, we will need to go to manage packages, so click up here. We'll go to all packages and then we'll search for web.activities here. UiPath web activities, JSON, REST, SOAP, XML. Then click install and click save. We'll wait a few seconds. And by the way, if you also enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we're ready to go. First, what we'll need to do is that we'll go to our XML file here and save it to our drive. So right click, click save as. I know this is Danish, get some, but it means save as. I'll just save mine here to my desktop. That's it. Then I'll go to your path again. First, we'll find a read text file here. Drag this in. Click this browse for file thing here. Find where you saved your file or you got it. I got mine here on the desktop and click open. I just hard code in the, uh, the path. Then I'll go to output over here in the properties. Click Control K and I'll choose a name for my variable to output to. This one will just be called this look. Uh, let's give the same name so str lookup as the text file. So now we got it into a string. Then we need to deserialize it to convert it into an object. So we will find a deserialize XML and this um, activity package that came with the package that we installed. But let's drag this deserialize XML in. We'll put in our XML string str lookup and then we'll create a new variable down here of the type XML document. So we'll control K and we can call this yeah, xdoc lookup like this. We can go down to our variables. We can see that we indeed created a variable of the name xdoclookup and the type xdocument. So far, so good. So now we will loop through, and we, what we want to do here is that we will first we will have a for each. And let me drag this guy in. For each, let me delete this body. And the first thing that we will do is to change the type argument. So from an object, we will click browse for types. We will drag this a little bit down here. And now we need to find a, an X element. So our X element here on the system XML.link. So click OK. That's it. And what we want to do now is that let's go to the file again. So we want to go down the tree. We're going to go down the element response, then result, then dark. And then we want to make a for each to all the elements down here in the dark. I think it will end somewhere. Well, that doesn't matter. We know it will end somewhere. Here, it ends here, down here. So uh, that is uh, the mission. And what we'll do here is that we'll uh, first we'll go to UiPath and then we will say we want to look up. Where do we want to look up? We want to look up in this xdoc lookup here. But let me open the expression editor here. So we want to look up in the xdoc lookup. And then we need to specify an element. And this is just simply the first element. 
And the first element is named response. And then the second one is named result. But those one are the two first, so response and result. And what we'll do in here is that we'll just say parentheses, quotation mark, response, right? Then we will need to have a dot and then another element like this. Quotation mark, resolve. And then what we'll need to do, let me have a dot more. Then we'll look at our XML document here. So now we have the result, and then we want to look at the dark. However, we want to get all the elements here, so we will have a dot elements and then dark. Go to UI path again. So we'll, what we'll do is that we'll say elements. Remember, it's not element anymore, it's elements. And then what is in here was dark. Then we want to have only the ones that are where the descendants is named ARR, that's these guys here. So what we'll do here is that we will uh, make this a little bigger. Then we will say dot descendants here, and then we will say of the name ARR. This is not really complicated. Do it a few times, repeat this video, do the workflow, and then you will name it. So now what we will say is that we will only look at the ones where the element is ARR. Now what we can do here is that we can first, let me just have a right line so we can see what we actually are doing. Drag in a right line. Then we will just say item to string. We'll just print everything out here. Then we will run it. We can go down to output. And we can see that now we indeed have all these AR here. We can scroll down and we got every one of them and only them, not the STRR. So far, so good. So uh, let me delete this right line again. It was just to show you. Then we will have an if because now we want to ask. Uh, let me go. So we want to ask here in the doc if the uh, the attribute name is that if that is pat assigner name then we will get this uh, name here from the str. So how do we do that? Well, we need to have an if, right? So we need to ask is the attribute name is the attribute name pat assigner name then we want to do something. So uh, find an if drag this guy in. And what we need to do here is that we'll say item. And then we'll say, now we need to get the attribute. And an attribute is here, what you say here, name equals to something. So we'll get the attribute of the name. And then we will ask if uh, that value uh, of the name is named uh, this one, then we want to do something. Let me show you that here. So item uh, attribute here, let me just get the intelligence on. And then it was name like this and value. If that value is equal to pat assigner name here, actually we will need the quotation marks. If that is equal to this, then we want to get uh, the str. So like like this. Then we want to do go over here. Otherwise, we won't do a thing. But say we, we will just write out the line. I don't know what uh, what was his name again. Sorry, I've salad dressing dude. It was a bit of a complicated name. So we only want to write out the str. So and here we'll go into the then because now we know that we are the value is pat assigner name. And then we will just say item element because now we can go down to uh, one step further down and we will have the um, the element of the str and then we will have the value and then we should be done so the element of str here and then we'll just say value and hopefully or i'm sure that we will only be getting the shikuara matcha shashi and not all of these let's run the file That's it, and we go to output, and we can see that we indeed completed the mission. That's it, have a good day, bye-bye.